From its launch in Johannesburg in 2009, the Global Business Roundtable has grown to impact on thousands of lives in more than 20 countries. As an organization that has been birthed out of prayer, its guiding principles are found in the scriptures. We believe that it's because it's a God-inspired organization. It's driven by him for his peoples, and it's there to help and equip people to develop their talents and to be leaders in their fields. The vision of GBR is to have a presence in 200 countries by the time it celebrates 10 years of existence. That's 200 countries with many chapters touching many lives. The round table has done well in Nigeria. There's been a great uh, interest since it was launched on September 14, 2012. We happened to hear from our Bishop Zan, who happened to be Malawian but living in South Africa, and a member of GBR in South Africa. He saw that it was a, a very good instrument for the nation to know in terms of business as well as um, skill development and uh, interpersonal development. We are trying to involve people and uh, to help the country. I think for Zimbabwe in particular, um, uh, redressing the economical challenges there, uh, I think that's the, probably the greatest need. The goals of Kenya are just an extension of the greater goal of entire GBR to be the avenue to create platforms for, for, for various people in Kenya. Nigeria has some challenges as a nation, but what the GBR is bringing seems to want to affect the thinking of the person from childhood to adulthood. And I think we need this kind of program for the Nigerian people. The impact on people's life has been unbelievable. You just have to come to our sessions, you just have to come to our AGMs, our General Assembly, come to our camps and listen to the stories. You can become successful in businesses, in your careers, even in your family, in your family life. I mean, how you can do better in life, in every space of it. It's um, about training and connecting through network. Um, since I joined it, I never thought I would be in U.S., but I made it. Five years after its foundation, Global Business Roundtable has a presence in South Africa, Swaziland, DRC, Lesotho, Mozambique, Malawi, Zambia, Kenya, Zimbabwe, Botswana, Tanzania, Uganda, Namibia, Ghana, Benin, Nigeria, Togo, Spain, and the United States. And the work continues to grow. Between April 2014 and March 2015, new chapters will be launched in 28 countries. In West Africa, Togo, Mali, Burkina Faso, Ivory Coast, Senegal, Liberia. In East Africa, Rwanda, Burundi, Ethiopia, and South Sudan. In Central Africa, Brazzaville, Congo, Cameroon, Chad, and Central African Republic. In Asia, Singapore, India, Malaysia, Korea, and China. In Europe, the United Kingdom, France, Italy, Portugal, Sweden, and Switzerland. In North America, Canada, and additional chapters in various states in the US, in South America, Brazil, and Mexico. Of course, it is a very colossal growth, and actually now the growth, it's running itself. We've got these launches of GBR chapters everywhere, uh, taking place every week. So it's, it's a runaway train. It's not just the leaders of today that Global Business Roundtable is reaching. The Future Leaders program was launched in 2010 to reach young professionals, young entrepreneurs and students. Under the Future Leaders program, Global Business Roundtable has established student chapters in 15 universities and tertiary institutions across Southern Africa, with six launches planned for 2014. Our Future Leaders are very active. 
but they do things in the fear of God and they put God first in everything that they do so that uh, we could have a better generation of leaders in the future that can fix the problems that we face in the continent in many parts of the world. The future of our nations and of any country uh, is in the people that are at universities. For Global Business Roundtable, it's been a phenomenal journey since its establishment in 2009. But this is just the beginning. And the key element is to find a GBR chapter, a GBR branch in every town, in every city, in every village, in every suburb, and in every township, where people access information, quality information, quality training, just at the doorstep where they live. And that has to happen at a global scale. Attribute the growth in the organization to God. And uh, it's humanly impossible to achieve what the Global Business Roundtable has achieved in four and a half years.